Hi there, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about the basic net shot in the forehand and in the backhand side. It's not about deception, it's not about net spin, it's not about anything other than the basic movement, the basic position and the basic movement when you hit the shuttle. So welcome to this basic net shot tutorial. So the first thing here is the basic position. You know, we have the big wide lunge. We have also have a tutorial on that. So when we land with, I'm right-handed with the right foot out here, um, with the heel in the floor, we have the side to the net. When we have the side to the net, it's easier for us to reach for the shuttle, to be in a better balance. And it's also easier for us to move backwards again towards the center position. So about this, you know, having the side to the net, uh, you can see here, when I have the side to the net, I can reach this far. If I twist my body around, my, uh, my reach will be uh, much, much lower. So I can only hit net shots from this position if I have the front to the net. And I don't have that good of a balance as you can see here. But if I do like this, I can stretch for the shuttle way further closer to the net. So this is a much better position for me to be in. So that is the first thing. Have the side to the net when you're landing in the lunge. Arms up to have good balance. So let's look at the grip in the forehand side. Let's start with that. It's a forehand grip, a neutral forehand grip where you hold it in this position. Um, as we also have, uh, have a tutorial about, watch that if you are in doubt about this. But have a, a, a loose grip, a loose, um, loose fingers around the grip with a forehand position like this. So as you can see here, I'm not able to hit the shuttle. So I of course need to rotate my arm rotate my wrist in this position. So what happened right there, right? You can see I go from this position, lower the racket, twist my arm around a little bit like this. So now I'm in position. Still with my forehand grip. So next thing, that is my arm. If I'm all stretched stretch like this, I'm, uh, I'm all tightened up in my arm. Be loose, have a small angle on your arm when you reach for the shuttle with this position, so you can move your arm a little bit to have that good touch on the shuttle, that, that good feeling in your arm instead of being all tightened up. And then there is the angle of the racket, you can say. I mean, how should we have the angle pointing? This way, or this way, up, down, all these things. So what I like to do here, and what I like to teach my students about this, is that when we go up here, instead of having the racket like this, it needs to point a little bit down. So when the shuttle approaches the strings, I will hit it clean on like this. If I hit like this, it will probably go out uh, that way. If I do like this, it will probably go further into court. So pretty straight on the shuttle like this with the angle, the racket, the racket head, the strings pointing a bit downwards. And when we want to hit the shuttle, of course, all these things need to work together. The position, the, the grip, the arm and the angle of the racket. That is um, now when we can hit the shuttle. And the movement that I like to do is to have that um, motion where you just go forward like this into the shuttle, I like to say. So when I hit it, I go under the shuttle. You can almost say I go through the shuttle. So if I'm here, 
I go this way. You can see in to the shuttle instead of instead of uh, approaching the shuttle clean on like this into the uh, you know into the um, the tip of the shuttle. I go through it, and that's a much more um, delicate way to hit it. You should also see that you usually come with motion from the center position. So you come with motion. So it's very it's very tricky to stop hit, but it's more easy to go like this up in the lunge and do the hit. So I hit it here, here. Okay. So small movement into the shuttle. So in the backhand side, there's a few other things I need to, um, to talk about. And the, the first thing is, of course, the grip. We go away from the forehand grip. We switch to the bevel grip. So on the small edge on your racket, you can also use the thumb grip. But if we should talk about all the small details, which is important in these basic shots, try to change it just a little bit towards that bevel grip. Watch the tutorial about that we have here on the, on the channel if you want to learn a little bit more about that. So the bevel grip, racket still points a little bit downwards. And you can see my arm is also way up here as it were in the forehand. The elbow needs to go up in this position. Don't hold it like this. If that is too far down, it will be unnatural for you to be in this position. So stretch for the shuttle with the elbow up just a little bit. So you are in this position. Racket points a little bit down, bevel grip, loose fingers. And we still, we still have the same smooth movement in the backhand. Go into the shuttle, do the small racket move with your, your, with your arm and the wrist. You know, and as, and as you can see here, my body movement is also controlling the shot. So I'm moving forward with my body, together with my arm, into the shuttle. Almost like I'm dancing, right? So this position in the backhand. So that was it, the basic net shot. I really hope that you can use some of these small tips. It's a pretty basic shot. Of course, there are a few things to talk, uh, to mention here and, and think about. But when you look at it, when you see all the clips, I'm not doing anything clever. I'm in the right position, adding the small but right movement. And the net shots, they're fairly good. Of course, you can take it to the next level, adding more position, adding more spin, adding maybe some more deception going for the cross, and then try to train it in different positions. Coming from the straight position, from the center position, maybe start out by just standing still, and then add some footwork and try to build it up from there. I just think that it's important to learn these basic things before you try to take it to the next level. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked it. And uh, remember to subscribe, hit the bell button, if you want to get our future content, we have more great stuff for you to come. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.